Hi, I'm Travis Ello with National Control Devices. Today I'm going to show you an easy no fuss setup for our relay controllers using USB connection. So what we've got here is uh, let's just say I'm a customer and I just got my package in from National Control Devices here. When I unpack it, I'm going to have my relay controller here with a USB connector. That's the most important part. I'm going to have a power supply if I opted for one in checkout. I would recommend purchasing one of our power supplies. Reason being, our power supplies are computer grade 12 volt DC regulated power supplies. Very, very important. If you go to Radio Shack and just buy a generic power supply for 12 volts DC, there's nothing to say that that thing's computer regulated or computer grade and highly regulated, but these are. So there's my power supply. I also got a USB cable here for connecting to my computer. So this is nice. And there's a little screwdriver, handy. It's even got our phone number on there for you. Okay, so set that box off to the side here. Now what I'm going to do today is I'm going to set this relay controller up to control this little lamp and we're going to show you how to download and, download and install the drivers, launch our Pro XR software and just kind of get you up and going turning the light on and off. So this is going to be a real simple setup so let's get into it. I'm going to start by connecting my power supply here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my little surge protector over here on the side. This just allows me to flip a switch to turn everything on at once. Now I'll go ahead and plug that into my device. Now I'm going to unwrap my USB connector here. Plug the big end into my device. All right. Plug the other end over here into my computer. Just like so. So we've got power hooked up. We've got our USB hooked up. Of course, my power is off. So I always recommend whenever you're wiring something up, make sure your power's off. Now I've got a screwdriver. Now what I have here is just a light bulb and a little uh, ceramic fixture. And I've just got a couple of wires attached to the, the bottoms here. So, and then I also have a power cord. It's just got a, a, a 110 plug on the end of it. And I've clipped off the ends here for the power and the neutral leg. I just clipped the ground back because I'm not going to use that. So I've got my power leg and my neutral leg. I've got power neutral on my light and I've got a relay controller. Let me show you how to wire this up. I'm going to grab a wire nut here. Okay. Um, go ahead and plug this power cord in here. With the power off, of course, otherwise that would hurt. And now I'm just going to wire the power leg from my power cord here directly to the power leg on my light. I'm just going to wire nut those together, okay? Now, I'm going to take the neutral from my AC input from my power source and I'm going to attach it to the common of this relay here. On this particular board the common is the center pin on your controller. It may be different. Uh, read the manual for your controller to find out which inputs the common, the normally closed and normally open so you know that whenever you're wiring things up. All right, got that connected. Now I'm going to take the neutral line from my lamp 
and I'm going to connect it to the normally open, meaning whenever power, whenever this relay is on, it's going to connect my power supply neutral and my light neutral, essentially turning the light on and off for me. So that right there, that's all the physical setup that I have to do. Now it's uh, into software and getting your computer up and going. So what we're going to do now is Jacob's going to show you how to create a virtual COM port using RealPort. And he's also going to show you how to download, install, and launch our ProXR software. So we can actually start controlling this. So I'll be back with you in just a minute and listen to Jacob. He knows what he's talking about. All right, now that Jacob's got you all set up with the virtual COM port and you have the ProXR software running in front of you, now we're actually going to turn this light on and off. So let's do that. I've got my ProXR up here. I'm setting my COM port and I've got ProXR selected. I'm just going to click OK, just as Jacob showed you to do. And now I can start turning the relays on and off and our light is flickering on and off whenever I turn relay one on and off because my device is connected to relay one. So that's this video and I hope that this has helped you out just getting started using our USB device. We'll do some more troubleshooting videos in the future but I just wanted to be able to sit down with you and show you how all this works so hopefully you'll feel a little more comfortable with it if you have any problems, of course, you can contact us here at National Control Devices, and you'll probably talk to me. My name's Travis, and I'm the tech engineer here. You can also email me at uh, travis at controlanything.com, or you can call our numbers 417-646-5644, and we're here from 9 o'clock a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday Central Standard Time. Uh, that's this video and I hope it was helpful for you and I'll look forward to seeing you in more future videos. Thank you. Thanks Travis. I'm Jacob. I'm going to show you the software portion of our USB setup. First thing you want to do is go to one of our USB product pages and then under the resources section you'll see download USB drivers and you'll want to select that. This will redirect you to FTDI chip and from here you want to download the latest driver version for your operating system and I'm using Windows XP so I can use this one. You'll want to save file. Once the file is completed downloading you want to open it and extract. I'm just going to extract mine to the desktop. You can extract yours to wherever you want. Select OK and extract. Right. And then you want to navigate to that folder. Right. And here's where your drivers will be at. So you can exit out of this window and this window and now you want to open your device manager so go down to start control panel device manager and you should see this USB serial port under other devices uh, you want to right click on that select properties reinstall driver browse my computer for driver software select browse navigate to that folder select OK and next alright and this process should install the driver for you and get the controller up and running I'm going to skip ahead in the video because this may take some time alright and when the installation is completed you should get a screen like this uh, you'll want to close close and in your device manager, you should see USB serial port under ports. Um, all right. Now, what we'll want to do is go back to controlanything.com. And under the resources section on the product page, you want to choose download software. You want to save file. All right. And once that file is completed downloading, you want to open it. Say extract. I'm just going to extract mine onto the desktop again. Uh, extract. And from here you want to open that file. 
say I agree and install. Close. Close out of this window. All right, now what you want to do is go down to your start menu, all programs, NCD ProXR, and open the ProXR application. Right, and you'll want to choose the COM port that your USB relay controller is attached to. It'll be listed right next to it on the device manager. And then you'll want to select ProXR if you have a ProXR controller, or R4 or R8 if you have a 4 or 8 channel relay controller that is not ProXR, or R1 slash R2 if you have a 1 or 2 channel relay controller. All right, select OK. You should get a log of communications. All right, now let's try turning on and off relays. All right, it looks like my relay controller is working fine. Yours should be too. If it's not, we have a troubleshooting video that you can look at. And if the troubleshooting video doesn't help you, uh, feel free to contact us. Our phone number is 417-646-5644. Our office hours are 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., Monday through Friday, Central Standard Time. And if you'd like to email us, you can email our technical support at travis at controlanything.com. All right, and that's the setup video. Thank you for watching.